Hello everyone. Let us see about employee rights. I am Dr. T.M. Inbamalar, working as professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, RMK College of Engineering and Technology. First, let me tell you what is employee rights. So, employee rights is a term that deals with various practices that provide protection to an employee in an organization. So, this uh, can be told as the ability to receive fair treatment from the employers. Actually, this employee rights are the moral or legal rights that are obtained by the status of being an employee. Now, let me tell you this employee rights under six subheadings. First one, the right to privacy. Second one, right to choose activities. Third one, right to due process from employer. Fourth one, in terms of equal opportunity, right to equal opportunity, non-discrimination. The next one is also coming under the right to equal opportunity. It is sexual harassment in the workplace. And the sixth one also right to equal opportunity, which is affirmative action or preferential treatment. So now we are going to explain this six in detail. First, let me tell you about the right to privacy. So actually, this is the right to control the access to and the use of information about oneself. So for example, uh, our information can be kept private, but uh, certain cases the organization can look into. Let me tell you an example. Uh, it is regarding the payment of insurance premium or medical insurance. The employer don't have the rights to see this but the payment department in your organization can view this information so this is regarding the right to privacy next let us go to the right to choose activities so this is basically the rights to have a private life outside the job so you see a example uh, let me take an example of a supervisor. The previous one is the right to privacy. So, if the scholar is giving a false test result, the supervisor have the right to look into it and verify it. So, that is the right coming under privacy. But uh, when you come to the right to choose activities, uh, there are instances when a supervisor unlocks and checks the desk of a scholar in his or her absence. So, this is actually wrong. Next, another example, when the management questions about the likes or dislikes of an employee or the management questions against the post on social media regarding his personal opinions. So, these things have nothing to do with the company. So, the next example is the situation uh, where the, there is the queries regarding the job. So, or any other test conducted in a job which includes questions relating to personal life such as alcohol usage or sexual conduct. So, these are coming under the right to choose activities. The next is the right to due process from employer. It is the right to fair process or procedures in firing which means scolding and in taking any disciplinary actions against the employees. Uh, written explanation should be initially obtained from the charged employee and the orders are given in writing with clearly stated reasons. Simple appeal procedures should be framed and made available to all those affected. Fairness here is specified in terms of the process rather than the outcomes. Now let us move to the right to equal opportunity. So as I told you already, this we are going to see under three 
subtitles one is non discrimination the second one is sexual harassment in the workplace and the third one is affirmative action or preferential treatment so let us see this three in detail first let me tell you about non discrimination so in the workplace there should not be any discrimination in terms of caste sex religion creed and language so these are regressive actions this discrimination is morally unjust treatment of people in the workplace and this is damaging the human dignity so you see i'll tell you examples uh, in a organization a senior manager post is vacant so this should be given to a person who is competent and a proven candidate but uh, a person who is from another state even though he is competent and a proven candidate he is not given the post instead a engineer from the local state who is lesser competent is given promotion as a senior manager so the one who is competent is denied of the opportunity next one if you see uh, in sports the same uh, game the prize amount will be different for both men and women so this is also against the equal opportunity this is coming under non discrimination now let us move on to the sexual harassment in the workplace so actually sexual harassment is a display of arrogance and misuse of power through sexual means it is against moral autonomy uh, actually everyone have the freedom to decide on one's own body so this is an assault on one's human dignity and trust the sexual harassment may be defined as the unwanted compulsion or attack on sexual requirements in the context of unequal power it includes physical as well as psychological attack or coercion and indecent gestures by men shown on women or by women on men let me tell you about two such forms of harassment existing in day to day life in one type which is called exchange of favors senior officers demand sexual favor as a condition for giving a job or granting a promotion or increment it may be either in the form of a physical or verbal threat on sexual offer another type is called hostile work environment it is the sexually oriented work environment that threatens the employee's right to equal opportunity undesirable sexual proposals advances lewd remarks mailing absence photographs are some of the typical examples of this harassment next let me move on to the affirmative action or preferential treatment it means giving a preference or advantage to a person of a group that was denied equal treatment in the past such treatments are given especially to women and minorities all over the world it is also called reverse preferential treatment because it reverses the historical preferences so let me tell you some examples in india if you see the admission and employment under central government or state government there are reservations in terms of community and if you see the state government there are reservations in terms of gender so this comes under the affirmative action or preferential treatment so thank you one and all for listening to my video let us meet in the next video thank you